What's up guys, Caleb here from srkcycles.com. You are looking at a 2011 Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. Um, big old bad four and a half inch high output Vance and Hines slip-ons. This bike is gorgeous. Um, you know, the, the, the paint scheme is not really me, uh, but you can't fault it. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, this bad boy has got some uh, upgraded stereo with the boom audio. Um, you know, I, I can't show you 100% how that works because of copyright reasons, but let's just say it definitely bumps. Uh, it definitely is an amazing sound system. Um, however, I just want to make a side note here. Does that really sound like I'm out of breath? Like, I'm so out of shape that, like, walking to and getting on this bike is somehow, like, putting me over the edge. Like, I need to, like, you know, I need, like, oxygen. Uh, so this is a test drive video. As you guys know, my test drives are a wee bit different. I'm going to take a different route just to show Sean up because I think his route sucks. I'm just joking. I think it's pretty normal, but I just really want to show him up for some reason. Um, but, you know, I... My test drive is a little different, like I said before, you know, I'm just kind of starting to dabble in the motorcycle realm. There's so much knowledge to figure out, and uh, I'm basically just trying to soak in as much as possible. Uh, working for a guy like Sean, you know, you don't learn a lot because he's a loser, but no, nah, I'm just joking. You learn a lot because he knows a lot about motorcycles. So, you know, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be a little bit more entertaining so that, you know, I kind of at least have some part in this, in this, this, this channel. Uh, so, you know, if you like what I'm doing, comment below. If you don't like what I'm doing, comment below. Tell me what's up. I'm a man. I can take it no matter what. Uh, I might cry myself to sleep tonight, but you know what? In the morning, I'll be rejuvenated and ready to go again. Uh, but this bike is beautiful. Okay, first off, I want to make a note. Just just a quick, this is actually a motorcycle, um, this is a motorcycle specific note, but I, I, I did hear that everyone's like, if you're taller, get the road glide. If you're taller, get the road glide. And I thought, you know, they look the same, whatever. No, literally, if you're taller, get a road glide. Um, I have an ultra classic that I turned into a street glide, and I'm definitely better spaced on this than I am on that. And both, you know, that's stock, this is stock. So if you're taller, once again, look at the road glide for sure. Um, don't know how I love the stable fairing, but it's definitely nice. So today I just wanted to make one note, um, just, just to get you guys a little more history. I am a diehard baseball fan. Uh, I was out at Game 7 of the World Series, uh, just going crazy with all those fans. It was amazing. Uh, but in addition to that, I am also like a diehard, uh, I'm a diehard Baltimore Orioles fan. Um, you know, Orioles are life, L-Y-F-E, you know, like the, the slang kind of life. Um, so I'm a diehard Baltimore Orioles fan, and I just want to make a note that I think that Zach Britton, if you guys don't know who Zach Britton is, he's the closer for the Baltimore Orioles. Let's just say he, he was sitting around, like I believe it was a .58 ERA on the season, lowest ever by a pitcher who had more than, I believe, 60 innings. He was like 46 for 46 with saves. Uh, the guy was just phenomenal, and he gets completely snubbed for, uh, for the Cy Young. I mean, he wasn't even like... I think he wasn't even in the three finalists. Um, that's garbage. I'm sorry. But that guy, I don't know, after watching the last three postseasons and seeing that really your bullpen means more than your starting pitching, it's kind of crazy to me that we can't look at the best bullpen pitcher in baseball and be like, hmm, maybe he is the best pitcher in baseball. Maybe he is the best pitcher, you know, this season. I'm not saying he's the best pitcher in baseball. Obviously, I think Clayton Kershaw is a freak. Obviously, I think... Andrew Miller's been doing it a tiny bit longer, um, but Zach Britton definitely got snubbed. So if you if you agree with me on that, comment below because I, I want to know your. If you disagree with me on that, comment below. I want to know your guys' opinion. I don't know how many guys are baseball fans out there. I don't know if bikes and baseball go together. Uh, that could be a new series, bikes and baseball. Um, but I, I think Zach Britton definitely got snubbed. I'm just such a Zach Britton fan. Um, so that's really the that's, that's really the, the main thing I wanted to talk about today as I was riding. As I was just thinking. You know, I, I'm really bummed that Zach Britton got snubbed. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to get on the bike, ride my worries away, you know, vent to you guys, be extremely sorrowful, uh, see if any of you guys had my back on this. You probably won't. You guys are probably all, like, Cleveland Indian fans, which I'm 100% for, but you guys are probably all like, go Corey Cooper, he's going to win the Cy Young. 
Um, or you guys are all like Detroit fans and you're like, oh, Justin Verlander, he's going to win the Cy Young. Um, but, you know, I think Zach Britton got snubbed. Uh, I think the Orioles in general got a little snubbed this year. You know, they had a tough division, but, you know, that's how the ball rolls. We'll, uh, we'll keep, we'll keep, keep pushing forward. Um, but thanks a ton for, uh, for tuning in, guys. I know that this probably isn't 100% what did you wanted to, to hear. Um, but like I said, my, my rides are going to be a little bit different, uh, a little bit different a pace, but that is 100%. Uh, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to kind of make a different route, talk a little bit differently about, about these bikes, and, uh, and definitely go Orioles. So thanks a ton for watching, guys.